Hello and welcome to this video. It is almost summer, which means that if you're a student, you're probably studying for your exams to advance to the next year, or if you're just like me, you're to actually graduate. And if you haven't got a developer job already, you're probably going to start looking for a job quite soon. There is no better way to impress an employer other than by actually having relevant working experience, which in your case is quite unlikely since you are probably still studying and haven't had actual working experience in the industry before or by building a solid portfolio. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a portfolio of coding projects from your college. Let's dive into it. What I'm going to describe is a four step process of how you can build your own coding portfolio using your college coursework. So these are the four steps. Step one is identifying a subject or a module that you feel the most comfortable working with and you usually have quite high grades in that specific module. So use the coursework available in that module or subject and expand upon it. So this is where step two comes in. Take that coursework and improve upon it or change it so that it adapts to a real case scenario or real case application for it, if it's at all possible for your specific project. If you don't have any ideas, post your coursework down in the comments below. I will take a look at them and provide you a few suggestions of what you can do with your coursework, how you can turn it into an actual good project for your portfolio. Well, if I know something about that subject, of course. Step three. Step three involves a three part process in this case. So there's more processes within processes. So step three is create a plan, set up a Kanban board, and start coding. It is as simple as that. Well, to create a plan, all you need to do is grab the old school pen and paper and start writing the key features of your project, such as the key features of your program or your algorithm or whatever it is in your case, could be hardware as well. Then you have to come up with some tasks and set some deadlines for your project. You don't want to take more than a month or two working on a specific project unless that specific project is quite big enough quite important to justify the length of time it takes for you to invest into creating it for your portfolio. Now, if you're not an old school person, just like I am, you can use a little piece of software called Notion. Notion allows you to do all that stuff, such as organizing your project, uh, creating documents for your project, as well as keeping track of everything and anything you pretty much want in regards to your portfolio and your job resumes and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna leave the link down in the description below. Now, I've mentioned Kanban board. A Kanban board is just a simple task management methodology, let's say, or setup. It pretty much means that you put your tasks into four separate categories. These categories are your backlog, which is all the tasks you want to create for that specific project. And there's also the to-do list, the doing list, and finally the done list, where each of them is a state at which your task is currently in. And you can of course move them between all those lists or categories uh, as you see fit depending on the development process of your portfolio project. This is also very good to get yourself familiar with how Agile methodology works. It's your opportunity if you haven't been exposed to Agile methodology or Agile workflow before, uh, to actually get a chance to do it for yourself because this is how most of the companies work and you're more than likely to make use of that. Therefore, it's very good to familiarize yourself before jumping directly into the industry. Step four, if you haven't signed up on GitHub and really enough do not know what GitHub is or how Git works, then I would recommend you to create an account on GitHub as well as uh, watch a couple of tutorials to learn how Git actually works, what is a code repository, what is a branch, and pretty much get to start using Git for your projects uh, instead of saving them on Dropbox or somewhere else just to get used to the process of creating branches, merging them just for your own experience. By executing this four-step plan, you can show your employer that you can take basic content concepts such as your basic homework or coursework and turn it into larger, more complex, more structural projects, manage your tasks, as well as know how to use Git. Believe it or not, there are still quite a few developers in the industry who don't know how to use Git or have never used Git before. So don't be one of them. There are plenty of good tutorials to learn how Git works and the learning curve is so small and it's so straightforward that it will take you about just an hour to learn how Git works and what to do with it. So all in all, just Make yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and take one or two hours out of your schedule and just learn Git. It's very worthwhile to use. 
Finally, once you have coded up your project and if it's possible to have a visually demonstrable version of it, consider uploading a working demo on GitHub Pages or Heroku. Since most of the time, the employees won't bother downloading your GitHub code, installing it on the local machine and trying the code out, testing it inside the local machine due to security concerns. And also it's not feasible to download hundreds of GitHub projects to try out from a pile of hundreds of CVs. It's just not possible for them to check all your code and see how it works or if it works. GitHub Pages and Heroku are both hosting container solutions available free of charge so there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to make use of those tools to host your own project inside there. Unless of course, as I said before, your project is not visually demonstrable. Links to both of them are available in the description below so check them out at the end of this video. And by the way, if you're interested in developing a full stack CRUD application or you don't know what to build or where to start from, then you're in good luck because I'm preparing a series of video courses that will help you build such applications from scratch, get valuable experience and put it on your CV to impress your employer and show that you actually have very good practical experience using specific languages such as JavaScript and PHP and so on and so forth. So make sure to hit on the subscribe button and hit on the notification bell to be notified whenever I release those video courses as well as any videos such as this one like you're watching right now and many more cool stuff from my life. Well, this is all for this video. If you like the content, then make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to comment below if you need help with your project ideas. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.